Alright, so today we're going to be making some real quick iridescent material in Blender. Alright, so that being said, it's going to be very simple to make. All you're going to need is an, uh, a model or object. It could be also text or logo. And you're going to need a uh, iridescent or abstract image that could be found on Google. Or you could possibly even make your own one. That being said, let's jump right into the video. Alright, so now that we're here in Blender, I already have my logo set up. You can use anything else, whether it's text, logo, object, whatever you want. Pretty straightforward. You want to go to materials, uh, material property, uh, click on new. We're going to name this uh, final metal and uh, what you want to do is make sure your base color is set up all the way in white uh, bring the metallic all the way up and the uh, roughness we're going to do 0.1 uh, we're going to select that material for my other shape as well and now we should have this chrome looking type of thing right but what you want to do now is you want to go to world property you want to go to color click on that um yellow dot you want to go to environment texture open and um, this is where that texture that I told you guys to look up comes in. So uh, mine, when I saved them, I have them under iridescent. Uh, and I, I have different numbers for them. Just to be able to search them up easily. Um, now there is, like, like I said, any type of abstract. It doesn't really have to be anything in specific. Um, so if you search up iridescent or abstract um, wallpaper or texture, things like this will show up on your Google search engine. Now make sure it has no copyrights. And if it does, make sure if you know that you're going to use them, make sure to pay for them. Um, cause you could get in serious trouble. That being said, uh, we're going to click on any of these. I'm going to double click on this one, go to render a uh, viewport and you're going to get something like this. Now, um, what you could do is you could, um, play with the uh, roughness bring it all the way up bring it all the way down you can play with it like that we're gonna open up a uh we're gonna bring in a camera to our scene we're gonna uh, camera to view and we're gonna scroll down to zoom out um we're gonna go to depth of field and we're gonna click in our object um and then we're gonna lower down the um f stop to one that way the background will get more blurry and the whole pixel pixelation that was going on kind of goes away uh so let me show you the difference so you can see over here it looks very pixelated and low resolution but if we have this depth of field and lower down the uh, f-stop it works perfectly that being said um you can also add a uh a light area light grab on the z bring it all the way up uh bring this power up to 50 and uh, scale it up even more you also want to go to your render properties bring up the ambient occlusion the bloom screen space reflections and the motion blur um i actually believe that the uh, power might be too high so let's actually stick with um maybe 20 yeah 20 works um so now that you have this you could also keep going back and forth if you're not happy with this uh texture you could go back to your textures and um maybe click on a different one and see what we get so now in this one we get something like this um we could keep looking at the other ones and you get cool stuff like this now keep in mind you can add more objects you can you can make your, your whole render scene look pretty cool by adding more objects whether it's tubes pipes um wire uh barbed wires all right so this is it for this video if you guys enjoyed it please make sure to drop a like down below comment what you want to see next on this channel and subscribe if you're new to this channel um and yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next one